guys, it's American Gun Chick, it's Gun Day Monday, and today, this is my target. Hey guys, so today, I have a different kind of video that I'm doing today. Today I'm gonna to be trying something unique and quirky and kind of fun and uh, experimental. So, um, this is gonna be my target today. This is a Smith, Smith & Wesson Compact 2.0. Um, this is one of the class guns that we use. The thing about this gun is it was used in one of our classes by a student and the gun blew up. There was an overcharged round in it and as the student was doing one of the drills, the gun just blew up in her hands and she's okay, um, but it just blew up. And so there's a lot of damage to this pistol. It doesn't work anymore. So yeah, we're just gonna kind of have fun with this one. What I wanna do today is I have it propped up on this stand like this. I'm gonna be doing some precision shots. So I'm gonna be really focusing and taking my time and trying to shoot key spots. So first, I'm, I have it turned sideways. I'm gonna try to shoot the trigger. Like try to shoot it off or just shoot it and see what happens. Um, and then I'm gonna turn this around and it's already clear so, you know, it's, there's nothing in here. Um, I'm gonna turn around and try to shoot through the barrel right here. So I'm gonna, this is gonna be a really hard shot shooting, putting a round through the barrel of a gun looking at you. That's a uh, really tight shot. So I'm gonna see if I can do that. I'm not really sure, I'm gonna do my best um, and just see what happens. That'll be really cool to see what actually happens with that. So first what I'm gonna do is go over there to the steel and practice a little bit because I always know that my first couple shots of the day are rusty and they're not always as good. So I'm gonna warm up over there. Once I'm done warming up, um, I'm gonna come over here and try it out. So let's go do that. All right, so today I'm shooting this Smith & Wesson Compact 2.0 and it has a Apex trigger in it right here. I'm a fan of Apex triggers. I love Apex triggers. I do like this gun too. Um, I use these guns in all the classes and stuff. So I'm over here and I'm going to shoot that tiny little target over there. I don't know if you can see it from here. It's a little red circle and it's just a little tiny steel plate. So I'm going to just practice trying to make accurate shots on that. And then once I feel comfortable, we're going to move over there. Today's video is brought to you by FUBAR, the world's number one online virtual bar chat room where you can buy virtual drinks, hang out with people, make friends, hang out with me and have a good time. So go check out FUBAR. pretty good got him a couple times uh, let's move on to the gun see what we can do all right so we're over here with our target um, before I try to shoot the trigger I'm just gonna shoot one off into the berm to really see that trigger reset and to feel when I hit that wall and just just to kind of recognize this trigger a little bit more um, before I go so there is a good chance that I could shoot into the trigger guard but not hit the trigger because that's kind of a big hole and the trigger's small, it's like a tiny little, like half an inch. So um, if I don't make it on my first shot, which, you know, I don't know if I'll make it, we'll just see. Then I'm gonna, you know, try it again and try it a few times just to see how I do. So, but first let's shoot into the berm just to uh, practice again real quick. All right, this is our first attempt at shooting the trigger off of a gun, so let's try it. Really gotta focus. I missed. So let's, I think it might have went through the trigger guard, but I'm not sure. I 
I think it might have went through the trigger guard, but I'm not sure. Did you tell where it went? Nope. Oh, we got it. Would you look at that? All right. So third time's a charm. Got on the third time. gone. That's hilarious. <laughs> Look at that. I've never seen a gun that looks like that before. So. Look at that. So now it's just. Wow. That was a lot of fun. That's cool. I shot it and I saw it just explode. Like it just disappeared. I don't even think I could find it down here in the grass, but um, yeah, look at that. That's pretty cool. Now let's try to shoot our round through the barrel. And we're going to back up a little bit more for this one because I don't know what's going to happen. I've never done this before. I don't even know if I'm going to make it into the barrel, but I'm going to try. So let's try it. All right, so now we're moving on to the barrel. This is going to be a lot tighter of a shot. Um, from over here, it looks really, really tiny. So my sights cover the entire barrel. Um, so I don't know how this is gonna work. We're just having fun and doing precision shots and seeing how it goes So I'm gonna shoot a couple times. I don't think I'll make it on the first time Maybe the third time, but let's just see All right, I don't know what's gonna happen. This is gonna be very interesting All right, so on my first shot, got a little bit low left. Look at that, must have been anticipating. So I got it right here. That's what that looks like. So let's try to bring it up, get it in there. In there. Let's try it again. Oh my gosh, I got something. Oh my gosh. Holy crap, look at that. Um, I didn't get the barrel, I got just right under the barrel. And it opened it up like a jaw, like if this was its lower jaw and it just opened up completely. Look at that, holy crap. That just ripped, uh, you know what? I didn't think, like if you shot a gun, for some reason, like the movies, you think of all this, I, I just thought that it would maybe like skip off or leave like a dent or something. I didn't think that it would just open it up and tear it apart like that. That's impressive, that's actually really cool. But, so we got close to the barrel, just, just under it. So should we do that one more time and try to get it right into the barrel? again so what happened this time so if you look at a freeze frame from the shot you can see smoke escaping from the barrel the edges of the slide and the ejection port which leads me to believe there's a good chance the round impacted inside the gun did it so Maybe I got it on the slide because when it when I shot it, the slide slid back a little bit, as you can see right here. Wait a minute. I think I got it. Is this part of a uh, the round right here? No. Hold on. Something going on in here. I think that's part of the uh, the round coming out. Should we shoot it again? One more time. 
All right, we're gonna try a few more. This time I'm gonna aim just a little bit higher than the gun. Ooh, something like came back and hit me in the stomach a little bit. I think we got something there. Let's go see. What in the world um, happened? <laughs> I don't know where it shot, but there's a bunch of residue on the inside where the firing pin is. I think it might have went through the barrel, to be honest. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> because the barrels, I mean, it's not going to break apart it's used to having rounds going out of it so going through it i think maybe it i mean really like there's no way to know look on the inside. look look at the inside right here like white powdery residue and then it looks like i see a little bit of a the round like the bullet right there coming out you see it right here so look look at this you see it right there if I had like tweezers, I could get it out. We'll dig around in there. Oh, look, look from this angle on the inside. Something went in that barrel. Let's see. So, look. Look. That, you just picked that up. You just dropped the jacket. What do you think? Did I hit the shot? There's no way to really know for sure, but leave a comment down below. Alright, so in conclusion, after further review, I don't know, I'm not positive if I shot one down the barrel. I mean, maybe not. Maybe I, maybe it's possible though, because if you look at the inside, the firing pin is smashed. So I don't know how it would have gotten smashed if I didn't, wasn't able to get one down the barrel. So maybe I did. I don't really know. Um, this is my first time doing this, but I do know that this gun is destroyed. So, and I had fun doing it. So, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, guys, thanks for watching the video. And I want to give a quick shout out to FUBAR. Go sign up for FUBAR right now because they support me. So please go support them. It's a fun, interactive online uh, bar, chat room. You can buy virtual drinks for people while you're chatting. You can buy, go to the Bling Shop. You can go to the Foo Mafia. You can play slot machines. And it's all free. You just got to sign up like you would sign up anywhere else. And go on there and hang out. Come hang out with me. Add me as a friend and we'll chat. Um, so yeah, thank you FUBAR. Go to FUBAR.com. And stay tuned for the next. Gunday Monday.